Fun with Film, episode six. Episode six, possibly episode six. I can't, I've lost count. It doesn't matter, we've got some good news. Two days ago, Sunday, I went to Exeter. I took the bike out for a run. I went to Exeter, I didn't go just for fun. I went for a specific purpose and acquired 500 grams of sodium metabisulfite from a home brew shop up there. Only place open on a Sunday, only place that actually advertises the stuff. Um, and it was £2.70, which was a darn sight better deal than 100 grams, which is all I really needed, uh, which would have been uh, £1.50. So we've got lots of sodium met now. Um, we're running out of paracetamol, as you will see. Let's go to the dark room and watch it being mixed up. I've already done that, actually. This is being recorded afterwards. Uh, <laughs> it's not a particularly good video because this daft camera kept turning itself on and off and doing other weird and wonderful things. But you'll get some idea of the fun, hopefully. And then we'll come back and decide what to do next. This is going to be fun. <laughs> We're using white things against white trays and clear things against can't even see their clear trays uh it's the exposure's a bit odd i've got a 200 watt light bulb in here instead of my normal 100 watt daylight balance thing i um we're working in the shadow making my own rodinol i have the instructions somewhere here we are written on the back of an envelope Parte, 750, no, it's not, 75 ml of water and 10 grams of paracetamol. The water has been filtered and boiled, so it is particulates clear and hopefully gas clear as well, meaning there's no gas in it. It will have boiled out all the oxygen. about 75 mil. Even I can't see what I'm doing. That's just over 75 mil. We can get rid of some into there. And that's 75 mil. And that can go into cup. Spectacularly not marked A, but it doesn't matter because we're going to work on that one immediately. The one with the water in it. Actually, we don't need that. How do I know we don't need that? Each tablet is 500 milligrams. So we need 20 tablets. Oh, wow, it's two of being used. I wonder what the expiry date is. Three, four, five, eight. All right, so this, that's 20. This might take a while. Come back in a minute. Here we go, in there now, there are 20 paracetamol tablets. You might be able to see them. They're slowly falling apart. That's good. I was really worried that they wouldn't. Uh, I haven't got anything to grind them with, you see, so. Um, normally you grind them up into a powder and then put them in. And the next bit is 30 grams of sodium metabisulfate. I'm just looking for something that I can use to stir that. I've got, an old, I've got a pair of tongs here. Let's give that, give it a quick whirl with it. Ugh. Yeah, that's quite horrid. That feels really thick and gloopy. 30 grams, 30 grams. Um, five hundred grams was two pound seventy five. A hundred grams was one pound fifty. Okay. 
can't get into it. Yes, I can. I bet it's in a plastic bag. Oh, no. Oh, that's good. I need something to shovel it out with. Oh, for goodness sake. I only want 30 grams of it. Um... One full shot glass thing from Poundland, you know, Big Clive's favourite, is about. I'll hold it in view, haven't I? Uh, it's about 30 grams of sodium metabisulfate. That can go in there now. I think it's fizzing. Alright, we won't use that one again. Mmm, tasty. Turn that off for a moment, get it out of the way. Part B is very simple, it's another seven, another 75 millilitre of water and 12.5 grams of sodium hydroxide. Didn't come from Poundland, I ended up having to go somewhere else and that was £1.80. Almost twice the price. It was Wilco's if you're really interested. No, that's way over. I can put that in this one. There we go, 75 mil. Yes, this is the safest way of doing it. That water should be fairly cool. Right, gloves going on. This is for the sodium hydroxide. The metabisulfite is food grade. It says food grade do not ingest. It's slightly amusing. Uh, yeah. As is usual, I can never get these. These are large size as well. All they would ever get at school were medium. I need, I need some gloves, Wendy. I'd say. No, not those. I want gloves that fit. I know, the only ones we've got. Yeah. Everyone else has got small hands. Don't believe it. It's even more impressive when you're doing first aid. By the time you've got the gloves on and not split a pair, kids had healed up and gone home. Um, yeah. Well, that's the light. That's the uh, Twelve and a half grams. That feels like way too much. Or not. I was right, not. That's 10.22. 11, 12.3. 11.64. 12.64. another used thing. That can go over there. Where's this little case gone? What are, oh, there. Alright. I've got no idea how it's going to react to the, with the styrene. We'll put the lid on because it's hydroscopic. And <laughs> come back next time, there'll be a big lump of it, and that'll be it. The whirring noise in the background is the dehumidifier. That crackling noise was me adjusting microphone cable. Right, yeah, um, keep my eyes out of the way, I suppose. I'll sprinkle that lightly into there. It's not a loss, I'm not expecting it to get mega hot. 
but we'll just let that little bit sit there first. And uh, see if that's getting warm. Yes, it is. We'll swirl it around to help it cool. The idea of doing it in this tray is this tray acts as a bund, so if it goes wrong, it doesn't pour all over the floor. That is quite warm. But it's only the bottom bit that's warm. It's warm, it's, it's not sort of hot, melting the bottom of the cup or anything. Um, yeah, let's just chuck in the rest. Oh, that sizzed. The last little bit to go in did make a little sizz. I've usually got thermometer around here. Um, oh, there it is. Humidity is 63%. It's over 20 degrees in here. We've got a lot more than that now. Yeah, let's wait for pour it in quickly. And that's shot up to 47 degrees, 37 degrees. That's now over 50 degrees. <coughs> yeah, I can smell it. Those were the days. Detolving. <coughs> sodium hydroxide in water, um, which I mentioned before, I mentioned in the last video, or the last video on making your own rod and all, is extremely exothermic. At 12.5 grams in 75 ml of water is gone high enough almost to burst my syringe, uh, my syringe and my thermometer. So we'll have to let that come down. We can guess that that is pretty well. Um, dissolved. This one that contains the metabisulfite and the paracetamol isn't. So we're going to give that a good stir. This is actually quite cold. To there. It's come out quite clean. And this one is now really quite hot. We're going to pour into there also. Actually, we shouldn't do it when it's that hot. I'm going to slosh in a bit of water. We've got to make this up to 500 mil. help cool this down. Yes, that's much more acceptable. I can pour it into there now. That's come out clean. That can be dumped. And now we make this up to 500 mil and give it another stir. I can't see the markings. Gura. Gura. Yeah, just under 300. It's 400. There we go, that's 500 mil in there. Now 
We're not filtering it at this stage. We might filter it later. Right, decide what to do next. The next thing is we've got to leave it. It's had two days to stand. I'm going to leave it until tomorrow. Uh, and then, depending on the weather, I might have a film to develop. If I haven't, I'm going to do a really quick one to show you how to test developers. It's actually quite useful. If you've got a load of old stuff and you think, ah, oh, isn't that going to work or isn't it? Um, there's a, there's a way of testing it that gives you some idea of, of whether it's actually worth um, trying it or better still just chuck it down the toilet. Uh, and I'll, if, if I haven't got a film ready to develop, we'll show you that. We'll see you soon.